G'day legends, welcome to ABCPE, the site where we try and make BCEPE as easy as ABC. Tonight we're going to hit Newton's third law. Okay, third law, probably simpler like the first law, it's the law of action reaction, and it is for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, probably the most famous of the three laws. And what this means is if you push down hard against something, the harder the reaction force will be and it'll be pushing back against you right in the opposite direction. So to put that into context, here we have Charlie. She's about to put an action force into the trampoline. The trampoline's gonna apply an equal and opposite reaction force to propel her into the air. So again, let's try and apply our knowledge into a VCAR style question. This one's from ABCPE. Explain using Newton's third law how blocks will affect the performance of the sprinter. Hopefully you already know that well, blocks are going to be a win. So we know the performance benefit, but explain it how. Well, Newton's third law, action versus reaction. We know that she's going to apply an action force into the blocks, and the reaction force is going to be an equal and opposite direction, which in this case is quite horizontal. Compare that to the action force while standing up. Well, she's not. it's going to be more vertical. Therefore, the reaction force is also more vertical because it is equal and opposite reaction. So with the block start, it's going to push us more in the direction we want to go than the standing start, which is going to push us more upright. We're trying to get over here. We're trying to get 100 meters faster than everyone else. So we want to go horizontal more than vertical. So again, we want you to go deep with this one. This definition is something that everyone across the state should have access to. This will always be worth one mark defining the biomechanical concept. So if you're struggling, start with this one. There's no equation for Newton's third law. So we skip that one and then just go to the explanation. This is the difficult bit. We've got to explain how, in this case, that more horizontal reaction force is going to push us in the direction that we want to go. And then the performance link. It's going to be either positive or negative, most often positive. This is another one that everyone should be able to have access to. The first and the third parts should be relatively easy. The second part is that tricky bit. So this will mean that she gets a faster start and she can finish the race in a quicker time. All right, this is the last question I'll ask you to do. This is a, a tough multi-choice from the VK exam a couple of years back. Pause the video if you need to. With these multi-choice questions, the best way to go is to try and eliminate a couple of options if you can. And in this case, hopefully from our knowledge of Newton's first law, we know that it's the same student, so the same runner, they have the same mass, therefore inertia can't change. There's not a higher or a lower inertia. Inertia remains constant because the mass of the student remains constant. And then from our knowledge of Newton's third law, Hopefully we realize that using the blocks is going to push us more in this direction, whereas using the standing start is going to push us more in this direction. So the lower angle of release is going to be beneficial. So the correct answer is A. Okay, guys, I hope that that has helped make things as simple as ABC. You can scan this QR code in order to go straight to our website or you can just go to abcpe.com.au. We'd love you to like us on Facebook and Instagram. Please ask us for any videos that you really want us to go over. Comment, uh, we'll answer your questions and hopefully we'll continue to make your VCE PE journey that little bit easier. Thanks guys. Cheers.